ICDF, or the International Cooperation and Development Fund, is an NGO that helps developing countries around the world, with a focus on Taiwan's diplomatic allies. To raise public awareness of its work, ICDF has launched a series of interviews featuring its staff. In the first episode, we meet ICDF Secretary General Timothy Xiang, who speaks about the hardships of foreign aid missions. This is Timothy Xiang, Secretary General of the Taiwan International Cooperation and Development Fund, or ICDF. He began his relationship with the organization more than 20 years ago when he was working at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. When I first took up the position of Section Chief in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, I was in charge of business affairs related to ICDF. Later, I continued to serve as the Deputy Director General of the Economic and Trade Department. So my first encounters with ICDF included various meetings, as well as technical inspections that I conducted with my colleagues. Shang said that ICDF encounters much hardship when carrying out aid missions overseas. I still remember when I was at Nauru, under what was the domestic policy at the time, we were promoting a so-called 360 project. That is to say, our three-year goal was to bring six products down to zero imports in order to help Taiwan's diplomatic allies partially sustain themselves agriculturally. Of course, the environment in South Pacific countries is different, so it was very difficult. But our technical teams did their best. With everything from produce selection to agriculture promotion, they did everything that they could. ICDF provides four main types of assistance, technical cooperation, humanitarian assistance, lending and investment, and international education and training. Through a series of YouTube interviews that will be launched every month, the ICDF aims to raise awareness of Taiwan's assistance to foreign countries. FTV reporters Stephanie Yang and Lu Wutong in Taipei.